My dear brothers and sisters, I welcome you back to this presentation on Patanjali Yoga Sutra in the Gurukula program of Indian Yoga Association. In the last two sessions, we dealt with the first two chapters of Patanjali Yoga Sutra. You all by now know that there are four chapters, four padas, Samadhi Pada, Sadhana Pada, Vibhuti Pada and Kaivalya Pada. No. Samadhi Pada has 51 sutras, Sadhana Pada has 55, Vibhuti Pada 56 and Kaivalya Pada 34. Totally we have 196 sutras which gives you the whole comprehensive picture of the yoga dimension by Patanjali. And in the Samadhi Pada we saw Patanjali gives a summary using the principles, goals and processes you know, in 51 sutras. So in the second chapter Sadhana Pada, in 55 Sutras, he talked about the Kreshas. You know. So, first he started with the Kriya Yoga, Tapas Swadhyaya Ishwara Pranidhanani Kriya Yoga. You know. Then he talks about Kresha, Avidya, Smita, Ragadvesha, Vinivesha, Klesha, five types of Kreshas which all had to be cleansed. You know. So, the things went with great details. So, in the first three to nine, seven sutras, he talks about the enumeration and definitions of what are kleshas. You know. Then, how they had to be destroyed in two sutras, 10th and 11th. 12th, 13th, 14th and 15th in four sutras, why they should be destroyed? Because they involve in cycles of birth and death. Then, can they result? That is, miseries of life, stresses in life, can all be destroyed. No. So, in the 16th Sutra, he says, yes, not only the previous, but also the future, he says. Then, he goes to the little more depth of the fundamental cause of the Kleshas. That is the union and identification of the knower and the known. So then he talks about what is the nature of the known, what is the nature of the knower. So from 18th Sutra up to the 22nd Sutra, 2 plus 3, 5. Now next he takes the question, why the knower and the known are brought together? This is a very interesting thing. And in his opinion, it is for the evolution of the powers of Prakriti and for self-realization of the Purusha. How the tremendous capacity that the Prakriti has, which had to be manifested. Then, how did the two things brought together? by a wheel of a wheel of avidya. You know. So how they can be destroyed, how the Purushan Prakriti can be separated. Root cause is avidya, therefore destroy the avidya. That is Sutra number twenty five. Then how to destroy the avidya? You know, by the Viveka, by the proper understanding, proper jnana and its practice. So, in two sutras, 26 and 27, he gave the better destroy. So, how to bring about that viveka and how to practice them in the sutra 28. Then he comes to his classic contribution of the Ashtanga Yoga. Yama, Nema, Asana, Pranayama, Pratyahara, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. And in 27 sutras, he talks about the Ashtanga Yoga. 
So, he has completed the complete directions of the Bahiranga Yoga in the second chapter. In the third chapter, the third Pada, the Vibhuti Pada, you know, talks about the things from Antaranga Yoga, Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. In the first three sutras, he talks about this Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. Then, four to eight, five sutras, he talks about the Sayyama, Trayam Ektra Sayyamaha, starting with that. This is a special advanced things that he talks about. And then, what is the result of that practice of Sayyama? How there is going to be transformation of not only the mind, but also the body and others. So, in seven sutras, nine to fifteen, you know, the Parinamas are talked about. Then comes the various powers, sixteen to fifty-one comes. You know. So, the Dharana, Dhyana, Samadhi. You know. So, all of us know about the Dharana, and to some extent dhyana leading to samadhi, you know. So, in this thing, he describes what is dharana. Desha bandha chittasya dharana, he says. That the fixing of the mind on a single thought is dharana. And on what you are going to fix, it could be anything. This is the process of focusing. It can be a light flame, it can be a vankara, it can be your own Ishtadevata, God picture. It could be anything. It could be a leaf, it could be a flower, it could be any object that you want. Patali is talking about a process by which the mind has to be brought into a focus. You know. Earlier we have seen that the grossest aspect of the mind is the haphazard mind, random mind. You know. And in that random mind, you know, we have the thing called as the mana in the Vedantic terminology and Vikalpa in the name of Patanjali. So, Vikalpa just wastes all our energies, a random mind. Mind jumping from one thought to another thought, from one subject to another subject, there is no linking. Therefore, the whole process to develop the concentration from this, that is the work of the intellect. The intellect you start bringing the entire set of the thoughts connected with each other. No? The energy gets channelized. So the first level is to move from Vikalpa to Ekagrata, Chancharata to Ekagrata. No? Concentration channelizes our energy. No? The whole of our education system is to develop the concentration. We know how it is very necessary for making ourselves more and more efficient. But then Patani takes to the next step. In multiple thoughts and single subject in concentration, you go into a single thought. Single subject, single thought. And that is the process of dharana. So, chanchalata to ekagrata, ekagrata to dharana. So, from mind to the intellect, from intellect to the next step, memory. Trataka is a clear example to develop the dharana. So here what you do is fix the mind on a single thought. You go on looking at the candle flame continuously without winking or blinking, then close the eyes to deep relaxation and remember from your mind the picture of the flame, you know, three-dimensional object of that flame. And this is the one that brings in the dimension of the Trataka. So, 
fixing the mind on single single thought without any distractions without thinking about it oh this candle is very beautiful and this has got yellow and this is very bright and it is so beautiful it looks all those things related that should not be thought of simply fix the mind on the single thought the physical picture no. what is happening there is the process of focusing no. just like a lens and the sunlight comes you put a paper the paper burns because all the power incident on this line is brought into a very small focus you no know, one square millimeter maybe 100th of a square millimeter then the intensity increases and the paper is going to burn this is the process of dharana fixing the mind on a single thought in the dhanur vidya earlier in the gurukula system this is what all was thought you know the example of arjuna and when all other people come and they say what you are seeing on the tree they say okay we see the tree we see the parrot we see the eye of the parrot we see the entire thing it was not happening but when arjuna came what are you seeing i am not seeing the tree i am not seeing the parrot i am not seeing the eye of the parrot i am not seeing the eyeball of the parrot and the pupil of the parrot only that central point which i have to hit i am seeing that to the exclusion of all other things so when you keep a candle flame in front of you you should not see what he is at the background or what is in the side only candle flame candle flame this is called focusing focus terribly increase our capacity to that no thratika is a way to do that no and from dharana you go to work at the memory level no so for cleansing the deeper samskaras we have to work at the deeper level dharana dharana is a process of remembering so after you see the flame closing the eyes the flame may come to the eyes as persistence of vision for a few seconds then it will go then we have to remember that frame picture from your mind from your deeper layers of the mind called memory the process of remembering therefore it works at the memory level so dharana always brings lot of strain if you do dharana even for you know one minute then you will all start getting pain here so finally says you have to make it effortless dharana dharana should be turned into effortless dharana and that's called dhyana dhyana is effortless dharana so patani the second sutra i says tatra pratyaya ekatanata dhyanam the mind will be continuous and uninterrupted flow of the mind towards the object effortlessly ekathanata pratye ekathanata dhyanam said effortless flow of the mind towards the object meditate so in the dharana also there is a single thought but there is focus in but in dhyana i make it effortless and this process is often turned as defocusing dhyana is defocusing so in dhyana there is a single thought there is slowness of the mind you know there is a process of defocusing you know that the mind is getting expanded so in the process when you slow down the mind it will go to sleep no sleep sir wakefulness and effortlessness you know is the key factor and a feeling of expansive elation this is called the dhyana तत्र प्रत्यय एकतानता ध्यानम हाउ डू वी डू दैट जपा इज द इजी टूल फॉर ध्यान इट गॉन इंक्रीजिंग द डेप्थ ऑफ अवेयरनेस एंड स्टार्ट ग्लोइंग डाउन फ्रॉम देयर वी कम टू द नेक्स्ट स्टेप कॉल समाधि तदेव अर्थमात्र निर्भासम स्वरूप शून्यमिव समाधि ही सेस सो इन ध्यान यू आर सिटिंग देयर एंड अ सिंगल थॉट कंटीन्यूअसली initially start with 1 minute then 5 minutes and 10 minutes and 1 hour 2 hours 3 hours and so on no. then you go into what is called as samadhi the word samadhi samyak adhiyate iti samadhi you know in samadhi there is a jump into higher level of mind a subtler layer of the mind from the grosser to the subtle level 
So, what happens is that in all our transactions there is a trifold process. The seer, seen and the process of seeing. And in some of the three things work together. You become one with the object of seeing. That's called samadhi. No? So at that level, tadeva artha matra nirbhasam. You are seeing only that picture and the related meaning associated with it. And swarupa shunya miva samadhi. As if you have lost yourself. That is, you are a seer and then you have lost yourself, you have become one with the scene. The seer becomes one with the scene. No? That is called samadhi. Samadhi is a jump. Jump from one level to the higher level of the consciousness. From the grass to the subtle layer of the mind. And similar phenomena is there even in the physical world called the quantum jump. That you have the electrons filling around the nucleus continuously and you put energy into it. When it receives certain quantum of energy, it jumps from one level to the higher realm from one orbit to the higher orbit. This is called a quantum jump of electron. It vanishes here and appears in the next orbit. And that is quantum jump of electrons. Similar thing happens here in the mind level. When you are operating with the dhyana, you are in this thing, oh, on staying that, then there is going to be an opening. A higher level, a subtle layer of the mind comes up. So, this is called the samadhi. Samyakaditya is the samadhi. So then in the fourth sutra, he comes. Trayam yekatra sanyamaha. The three taken together constitute sanyama. The harana dhyana samadhi put together becomes sanyama. So you start focusing, you start defocusing and then expand to the whole thing. Focus, defocus and jump. Is the trifold process that talks about in Sayama. So, in the fifth sutra, I say, Tajayat Pragnalokaha. Now, by mastering this Sayama, then there is going to be the higher vision, the higher light that gets thrown up into the higher level of consciousness. So, Samyama is a very subtle tool to go to the higher Samadhi. Tasya Bhubi Shuvini Yogaha, it said. It has to be applied in stages, you know. So one by one, one by one you start using that, you know. And systematically it jumps from one level to the next level and the next level and the next level, you know. And these are called the higher samadhis, you know. So, Vitarka, Vichara, Ananda, Asmita, Anugamad, Sampragnataha, Dadanyaha, Sampragnataha, we have seen. Therefore, the first samadhi <coughs> is the Vitarka, Anugata, Sampragnat, Samadhi. So like that it goes. And Trayam Antaranga Purya Bhya. No? This becomes the Antaranga Yoga. Earlier we have Bahiranga Yoga, Antaranga Yoga. Dharana, Dhyana Samadhi is Antaranga Yoga. But now compared to the Sayama, this becomes Bahiranga. Dharana, Dhyana and Samadhi becomes the Bahiranga. And then the aspect of no? dimension all put together, three, Sayama is higher, it becomes Santranga. So, Sanyamaya Vantranga, Dharanadhan Samadhi become Bahiranga. No? And compared to that, Nirbija, Thadapai Bahiranga Nirbija Sya. Compared to the Nirbija, that is the higher Samadhi, then this also becomes the Bahiranga. So, it is moving from grass to the subtle, subtle to the more subtle and so on. And then, in the next six sutras, he talks about the Parinamas, how they bring about the transformations, you know. And the three transformations have been talked about. Nirodha Parinama, Samadhi Parinama, Ekagrata Parinama, and these are the higher things that happens and there is going to be transformation by Nirodha or the silencing. You know, Vithwana Nirodha Samskara Yoho, Abhipava Pradurbhava, Nirodha Kshana Chitwana Yaha, Nirodha Parinama, he says. Nirodha Parinama is that transformation of the mind in which it becomes progressively permeated by that condition of nirodha, that is coming of the mind, silencing of the mind, which intervenes momentarily between the impression which is disappearing and the impression which is taking place, that's the one that it has. You know. So, one by one the transformation starts and then it takes you to the higher levels of samadhi and the nirodha parinama will take you 
from one level to the next level and then it is followed by you know the next dimension that is uh, the aspect of you know samadhi parinama in samadhi parinama in 11th sutra he talks about the gradual setting of the distractions and simultaneous raising up one point at that so from the coming down of the mind silencing of the mind again a thought comes up that single thing that samadhi parinama and the samadhi parinama from there you go into the next one that is the ekagrata parinama so in ekagrata parinama you have the dimensions that come about to see that you raise from that you know from the long well to the so by doing this parinama you start going deeper and deeper in which in all the physical things and the biological systems and their functions there is going to be complete change that start coming up there is going to be transformation from the lower to the higher level and higher and higher level so the property the characteristic and state of everything get transformed to the higher level that is the thing comes up transformation of property character and conditions of the panchabhutas and panchatanmatra senses and the motor organs take place and when this happens then there is a transformation from thomistic to rajasic rajasic to no the sattva start coming up you go even beyond that dimension that comes up you know so the transformation of lakshana character it brings about so here he talked about the sthula and sukshma anvaya arthavatva and the sarupa you know so from the gross state it goes to the subtle state from the state all pervading state from there the function state and real and constant state have been brought forth five levels have been talked about so the dimensions start coming up one by one in the next sutra he talks about various ways by which you go to the higher and higher levels higher bliss and others and that start becoming supernatural powers called as siddhis and the whole dimension of siddhis is the one that characterizes the vibhuti pada you know and bewildering siddhi start coming up and in the summary of the different siddhis achieved by sayama on different objects events and processes sutra number 16 to 51 it is talked about you know so different dimensions have start coming up culminating in the ashta siddhi that has been talked about and that's how it comes you know the whole dimension you start getting and anima mahima prakamya all these things start coming with the ashta siddhis and this is the one that takes to the highest level relinquishing all these things if a person is able to renounce these things come out of this thing then he is going to reach the highest that is talked about you know so samyam on the sound samyam on the samskaras samyam on the pratyayas samyam on specific pratyayas samyam on vision then samya the karma activities and dormant samyam on friendliness then samyam on the strength of animals samyam on gods article then speed of sun how we have to go beyond that then on the chandra the surya and other to look at the characteristic of the entire cosmos so these are all the various siddhis that he talks about and the dimensions that start coming up you know ultimately is our original thing that you have to give up the mind or bring the focus of the mind defocus the mind and go to the higher levels get into different samadhis and do these things and that is the thing that comes up here and all streams of yoga can purify us and as we go to the advanced levels bring us many siddhis there is like a golden vessel of attraction and repulsion but that also has to be relinquished you have to give give up that thing to the highest level you know and that is called the kaivalya that he talks about here so the give show a brief glimpse about the third chapter of patanjali yoga called the vibhuti pada and with that we again offer our salutation to great maharshi yogena chittasya padena vacham malam sharirasya cha vaidyakena 
ಯೋಪಾಕರೋತ್ತಂ ಪ್ರವರ ಮುನೀನಾ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಪ್ರಾಂಜಲಿರಾನತಸ್ಮಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಟು ಒನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅವರ್ ಆನ್ಲೈನ್ ಗುರುಕುಲಂ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ದ ವಿಭೂತಿ ಪಾದ ಆಫ್ ಪತಂಜಲಿ ಯೋಗ ಸೂತ್ರ ಬೈ ಅವರ್ ಬಿಲವ್ಡ್ ಗುರುಜಿ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಎಚ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಗೇಂದ್ರಜಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಪ್ರಾಕ್ಟಿಸೇಷನ್ ಟುಡೆ ವಿಲ್ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಫೋಕಸ್ ಆನ್ ಪ್ರಾಣಾಯಾಮ ಸೊ ಐ ರಿಕ್ವೆಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಸೆಟಲ್ ಡೌನ್ ಸಿಟ್ ಓನ್ ಎನಿ ಕಂಫರ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ಪೋಶ್ಚರ್ ದಟ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಸುಖಾಸನ್ ಪದ್ಮಾಸನ್ ವಜ್ರಾಸನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಪೋಶ್ಚರ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಅಡಾಪ್ಟ್ ನಾವು ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಪಾಮ್ಸ್ ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಮುದ್ರ ಸ್ಲೋ ಡೌನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಬ್ರೀದಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರೋಸೆಸ್ ಕಮ್ ಡೌನ್ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ನಾವು ವಿತ್ ಪ್ರೇಯರ್ ಹುಚ್ ಹೆಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಟೇಕೆನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಪ್ರಶ್ನ ಉಪನಿಷದ್ we are going to offer our salutation to that prana that life force that vital energy which is present all the three worlds o prana please protect us like a mother protect her child and give us affluence and the intelligence with that we'll start our prayer repeat after me ಪ್ರಾಣಸೇದ ವಸೇ ಸರ್ವ ಪ್ರಾಣಸೇದ ವಸೇ ಸರ್ವ ತ್ರಿದಿವೇಯತ್ಪ್ರತಿಷ್ಠಿತ ಮಾತೇವ ಪುತ್ರನ ರಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಮಾತೇವ ಪುತ್ರನ ರಕ್ಷಸ್ವ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಶ್ಚ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ಚ ಪ್ರಜ್ಞಾಶ್ಚ ವಿಧೇಯೈತಿ ವಿಧೇಯೈತಿ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ರಿಲೀಜರ್ ಮುದ್ರ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಫೀಲ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ವೈಬ್ರೇಷನ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಯುವರ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಟೋಟಲಿ ಅನೋರ್ಸೈಸ್ಡ್ we'll start with one of the preparatory practice for pranayama that is kapalbhati limitation or contraindication those having severe back pain headache migraine and hypertension any cardiac problem abdominal hernia epilepsy vertigo women women during pregnancy and the cycle please avoid this practice you can just sit silently others can do the practice this practice is forceful exhalation with fluffing the abdomen we can go for 60 strokes per minute and we'll start adopt chin mudra with both palm let facial muscle totally relax do not compress during the practice keep it totally relax let us start speed up slow 
स्लो डाउन कंप्लीटली स्टॉप द प्रैक्टिस रिलीज द मुद्रा ट्राई टू ऑब्जर्व द केवल कुंभ का ऑटोमेटिक रिटेंशन ऑफ द ब्रीदिंग एंजॉय द ब्लिस विद इन यू coming to the second practice which is known as sectional breathing followed by full yogic breathing which enhances our respiration which corrects our breathing pattern there is no such limitation here i can say the ideal posture for this is the vajrasana if you can sit please sit on vajrasana otherwise you sit any comfortable meditative posture we'll start adopt chin mudra with both the palms gentle touch thumb and index that is the chin mudra place it on your respective thighs or knee sit straight now we'll go for abdominal breathing or diaphragmatic breathing now with inhalation bulk your abdomen out with exhalation relax your abdominal muscle continue four more rounds beautiful smile on your face continue if you want more experience then you can place your one palm on the abdomen for better experience better observation inhale abdomen coming out exhale it's going in inhale exhale continue more rounds synchronize the movement of the abdomen with the breathing make your exhalation longer than the inhalation continue last round After complete exhalation, relax your palm, release your mudra. Try to observe the beautiful changes on your breathing. Coming to the second variation or second type of sectional breathing, that is thoracic breathing or chest breathing. adopt chin moi mudra thumb and index gentle toes rest of the three fingers folding and resting on your palm and place your one palm on your chest for better observation now as you inhale expand your chest as you exhale relax the chest muscle continue inhale exhale continue few rounds make your exhalation longer make your breathing slow smooth and continuous <coughs> continue
कंप्लीट द राउंड आफ्टर कंप्लीट एक्सलेशन रिलीज योर पाम रिलीज योर मुद्रा ऑब्जर्व द ब्रीदिंग ऑब्जर्व द चेंज इन द ब्रीदिंग coming to the next that is clavicular breathing or shoulder breathing adopt adi mudra make a loose fist keeping the thumb inside adi mudra now we'll go for clavicular breathing now as you inhale raise your shoulder little up with exhalation little rolling back completely down do the practice inhale raise your shoulder up exhale little rolling back down continue three more rounds inhale last round after complete exhalation release your mudra observe the beautiful changes within you beautiful smile observe we are breathing coming to the purna yoga swasana or full yoga breathing adopt brahma mudra keep your adi mudra just at your navel we'll combine all the three breathing here now as you inhale bulge your abdomen out expand your chest shoulder up as you exhale relax your abdominal muscle chest muscle shoulder down very good continue four more rounds and make your breathing slow smooth continuous and rhythmic continue with your own breathing synchronize let your facial muscle totally relax two more rounds last round
after complete exhalation release your mudra and relax observe the beautiful changes within you if you want to change your posture you can change but make sure your back is straight observe the changes feel the energy the prana within you coming to the next practice anulam bilam will go for surya anulam bilam which is known as right nostril breathing so that will adopt nasika mudra with one palm either left or right another palm with chin mudra now with the nasika mudra close your left nostril inhale from the right nostril exhale from the right nostril this is one round continue four more rounds make your exhalation longer than the inhalation let your complete awareness to the breathing continue it's time inhalation from the right exhalation from the right here i can see those having hypertension those having vata prakriti they should avoid this practice even those who are very thin they should avoid the practice but according to the research it's a very important practice those who want to reduce the weight cut down the weight for them it's a good practice complete exhalation relax release the mudra you can observe your right nostril is more active you can feel the activeness in your body it totally removes the lethargy laziness the drowsiness now coming to the opposite side that is chandra anulambilam those having low blood pressure having kapha prakriti problem having cold cough please avoid others can do those who want those who want to gain weight for them it's a very very important practice we'll start chin mudra with one palm nasika mudra with another palm now with the help of the nasika mudra close your right nostril inhale from the left exhale from the left continue few more rounds with total awareness knees on the breathing enjoy the practice let your facial muscle relax Three more rounds. Continue. Do not stuck your mind on counting. Continue the practice.
complete the round after complete exhalation from the left nostril you can release the mudra and stop the practice you can feel the cooling sensation you can feel the calmness coolness enjoy observe your breathing pattern your breathing is slow smooth continuous mind is calm coming to the next practice which is known as king of pranayama there is no limitation no contraindication you can do this practice any time and any round that is known as nadi suddhi pranayama which completely purifies the nadis so adopt chin mudra with one palm nasika mudra with another palm with the help of the nasika mudra close your right nostril completely exhale from the left after exhalation inhale from the left close the left nostril exhale from the right make your exhalation lengthy inhale from the right close the right nostril exhale from the left this makes one round continue eight more rounds with complete awareness to the breathing continue very relax we do the practice without making any extra sound very relax and gentle way continue let your facial muscle totally relax make your round langar and langar continue with complete awareness to the breathing complete 
the round after complete exhalation from the left nostril you can stop the practice release the mudra observe the changes within you feel the beauty of this practice your mind is calm silence your breath is slow rhythmic continuous your body is active and organized enjoy the state complete samatvam balanced state your body mind prana all are in balance enjoy coming to the sec- next practice that is laya pranayama that is brahmari pranayama for 3d awareness adopt sanmukhi mudra with the help of your fingers close your senses you can place your ring finger on your eye your middle finger just side of your nostril and your index just half of your upper lip and the little finger just down to your lower lip completely close your senses now with inhalation place your tip of the tongue to the upper palate then close the mouth with exhalation produce the sound nakar let's start mm. second round same process place the tip of the tongue to the upper palate close the mouth with sanmukhi mudra third round fourth round mm-hmm. fifth round sixth round mm-hmm. seventh round eighth round mm-hmm. last 
strong. Mm. After complete exhalation, release your mudra. Observe the beautiful resonance totally soothing your mind. Enjoy the 3D awareness. Enjoy the silence, which is very, very beautiful practice. Enhance our memory concentration at our IQ power, IQ level. It's a very effective technique. There is no limitation. Everybody can do. Now coming to the resonance pranayama which is known as Nadanu Sandhana searching for the sound now you all can lie down on your back savasana let your legs apart hands are the little away from the body palm facing upward the best comfortable relaxation posture, beautiful smile. Searching for the sound. Nada Nusandhana. Add up chin mudra. Let's for the lower part. We'll chant Akara three rounds. Inhale deeply and chant. Observe the vibration of Akara. Totally energized your lower part. Enjoy. Coming to the middle part, adapt Chinmoy Mutra. Let's chant Ukara three rounds. Inhale deeply and chant. Observe the vibration of Ukara. Enjoy the relaxation. Release the mudra. Now adopt Adi Mutra. We'll chant Makara for upper part with closed mouth. Inhale and chant.
Absorb the vibration. Release the mudra. Your upper part totally relaxed, enjoy energized. Now for complete body, for the resonating wave, from the toes to the head, head to the toes, add up Brahma Mudra. Place it on your navel. Now we'll chant A Omakara together in a single breath. One is to one is to two ratio. Inhale deeply and chant. Enjoy the rejoinating wave. Release the mudra. Enjoy the rejoinance. Your complete body relaxed. Your complete body mind pure. In the completely pure state of mind for the divinity. We'll chant Omkar one round that is Pranova Omkara. Inhale deeply and chant. Oh. Observe the vibration. Very gently come back to your body, legs together, hands by the side of your body. Sit on any comfortable posture, turning to any one side. Namaskar Mudra, Sarve Bhavantu all together. Sarve Bhavantu Sukhinaha. Sarve Santu Niramaya Sarve Bhadrani Pasyantu Makashi Dukhavak Bhavet Om Shanti 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 Rub your palms and relax completely.